Hello, I'm Chuck Phillips, South Alabama Home Inspections, and welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I'm doing an inspection, and I'm in the attic now, and I've already found several uh, really significant safety issues up here, and the first one being this vent which comes off the furnace. It's now disconnected up here, and it's exhausting into the attic, and also the vent for the water heater has become disconnected and it is now also venting into the attic and in addition to that it's not properly supported and that's probably why it failed at that connection but it also has what appears to be plastic wrapped up there at the very top and that's a potential fire hazard right there and not only that it's, it's not connected to the exhaust port at the roof level so this thing has several issues going and that's another thing about this ductwork for natural gas it has to be properly strapped and supported otherwise it could fall apart now another issue I've discovered is right here I don't know if I can zoom in on this let's see right there this is actually the exhaust for the range hood and it's also disconnected right there at the elbow uh, this isn't too significant because it's venting out through a, a vented microwave but I do kind of question this duct tape connections going on it it's single wall vent pipe and that's probably okay uh, since it's kind of sort of venting out through the top of the microwave uh, a, a lot of these houses don't even have um, external ventilation in the kitchen which at least they have that going for it but that does need to be repaired uh, this house was built I believe in 97 yeah, it's 97 and I also suspect the plumbing's been redone I think this is all relatively new plumbing I kind of sort of suspect this may have had polybutylene in, in it at one time and they replaced it but I'm gonna turn this light out real quick this is another issue I want to point out uh, when you get in the attic you should be able to see daylight around the edges of the roof line and that's your soffit vent and that's what allows air to come in underneath the soffit and expel out through the ridge fin at the top if you have a ridge fin and so it's important that you see this daylight going around there and if you don't that means that insulation like this right there has blocked it and it needs to be pulled back because I find that quite a bit in my inspections where they just come and blow this insulation over the soffit areas and so now your attic is not properly ventilated in fact I would say about half the attics I inspect maybe more are not properly vented and that's another reason why you should go ahead and put a wireless temperature and humidity sensor in your attic so you can monitor the conditions up here in case you do need additional ventilation and also another good thing too is you probably want to get in your attic when it rains really hard uh, that way you can come up here and see if you've got any leaks because you can have leaks going on up here uh, for quite some time and not even know it because what will happen is this insulation will soak it up and it won't quite soak enough to get through the drywall and then before you know it you have all kinds of mold problems going up here in the attic uh, the biggest thing is you you probably should have a home inspection done whether if you're a, a buyer or a seller or even a homeowner uh, because if you have a home inspection completed by a qualified home inspector uh, they can probably find some of these issues that you're facing that could wind up costing you thousands of dollars by not knowing about them and not only that it could cost you your life and so it's really important to have a home inspection done you know for no other reason but for safety so I hope this has been somewhat informative I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and also please like the Facebook page and subscribe to the YouTube channel because we have different videos on both sides. Thanks for watching.